क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड एंड डिराइव्ड द इक्वेशन फॉर टॉर्क इन द सिंगली एक्साइटेड मैग्नेटिक सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डबली एक्साइटेड मैग्नेटिक सिस्टम In exam, the question for the doubly excited magnetic system can also be asked like this: Starting from the energy valence equation, obtain from the doubly excited magnetic system expression for torque in terms of angular rate of change of self and mutual inductance of stator and rotor winding. The answer for the both questions is same. So now we are going to study what is a doubly excited magnetic system. Previously, we have studied the singly excited magnetic system. In singly excited magnetic system, there is only one exciting coil and only one supply is given to the exciting coil. In doubly exciting magnetic system, there are two exciting coils and the separate supply is given to both the exciting coils. In figure, you can see the diagram for the doubly exciting magnetic system. There is one stator and one rotor. Between stator and rotor, air gap is present. Now, if you see this air gap is less around here and it is more in this area hence the air gap is non uniform this type of system is called as salient pole system so the salient pole system is the system in which the air gap between stator and rotor is non uniform now in order to derive the formula for the torque in doubly excited magnetic system stator is supplied separately by the source v1 rotor is supplied separately by the source v2 there are two exciting coils having n1 turns and n2 turns r1 is the resistor for the stator exciting coil r2 is the resistance for the rotor exciting coil v1 is the supply voltage for the stator exciting coil v2 is the supply voltage for the rotor exciting coil i1 or is is the current flowing through the stator coil i2 or ir is the current flowing through the rotor coil now we know the formula for the electrical work done which is given by the formula for differential electrical work done is given by dw electrical is equal to i into d lambda now this formula was this for the singly excited magnetic system if you want to consider the doubly excited magnetic system we have to consider the flux linkages of both the exciting coils hence this equation can be modified as dw electrical is equal to is into d lambda is plus ir into d lambda r in equation 2 is is the stator exciting current ir is the rotor exciting current lambda s is equal to flux linkage of stator and lambda r is the flux linkage of rotor now we know that the flux linkage can also be expressed in terms of self inductance as mutual inductance hence we can write the equation for lambda s and lambda r as lambda s is equal to is ls plus ir lsr equation number 3 lambda r is equal to ir lr plus is lrs equation number 4 in equation 3 and 4 ls is nothing but the self inductance of stator lr is nothing but the self inductance of rotor and lsr is equal to lrs is nothing but the mutual inductance of stator and rotor substituting equation 3 and equation 4 in equation 2 we get dw electrical is equal to is into derivative of is ls plus ir lsr plus ir into derivative of ir lr plus is into lrs solving this equation we get dw electrical is equal to is inside the bracket is into derivative of ls this is the derivative of first term plus ls derivative of is plus ir derivative of lsr plus lsr into derivative of ir this is the derivative of second term plus ir inside the bracket ir into derivative of lr plus lr into derivative of ir this is the derivative of 
this term plus is into derivative of lrs plus lrs into derivative of is this is the derivative of this term denote this as equation number 5 we know that the energy balance equation is given by dw electrical is equal to dw mechanical plus dw field let this be equation number 6 now initially when supply is not turned on let d theta r be the angular velocity now when suddenly the supply is turned on the current will rise from 0 to is and ir respectively now we are assuming that the mechanical work done is 0 therefore dw mechanical will be equal to 0 hence dw mechanical is equal to 0 equation number 7 substituting equation 7 in equation 6 we will get dw electrical is equal to dw field equation number 8 now from equation 5 and equation 8 we can write dw electrical is equal to dw field is equal to is inside the bracket is dls plus ls dis plus ir dlsr plus lsr dir bracket complete plus ir inside the bracket ir dlr plus lr dir plus is dlrs plus lrs dis let this be equation number 9. Now as the rotor is not allowed to rotate, the reluctance as well as inductance remains constant. We know the derivative of constant is 0. Hence we can write dls is equal to dlr is equal to dlrs is equal to dlsr is equal to 0. Let this be equation number 10. Substituting equation 10 in equation 9, we get dw field is equal to is inside the bracket ls dis plus lsr dir plus ir inside the bracket lr dir plus lsr dis. If we multiply these terms inside the bracket, we can modify this equation as dw field is equal to is ls dis plus is lsr dir plus ir lr dir plus ir lsr dis if we see in this equation in these two terms lsr is common so we can modify this equation as dw field is equal to ls is dis plus lr ir dir plus lsr bracket is dir plus ir dis if we see this term is nothing but derivative of is into ir hence we can again modify the equation as dw field is equal to ls is dis plus lr ir dir plus lsr derivative of is into ir now taking integration of this equation we get integration of dw field is equal to integration 0 to is ls is ds plus integration 0 to ir lr ir dr plus integration 0 to is ir lsr derivative of is into ir now if we see in this term derivative is with respect to is hence ls is constant so we can take it outside of integration similarly in this term derivative is with respect to ir hence we can take lr outside the integration similarly in this equation it is with respect to is ir so we can take lsr out of the equation so we can modify this equation as w field is equal to ls integration of 0 to is is derivative of is plus lr integration 0 to ir ir derivative of ir plus lsr integration 0 to is ir derivative of is into ir after solving this equation, we get W field is equal to LS IS square by 2 plus LR IR square by 2 plus LSR into IS into IR. Let it be equation number 12. Now in equation, we have derived the formula for W field. 
Now we have to derive the formula for torque. In order to derive the formula for torque, we have to consider the motion. As we have to consider the motion, the constant values of reluctance and inductance have to vary. Also, the motion is considered with respect to angle theta. R. Hence, previously we have assumed that the reluctance and inductance is constant. Hence, the derivative of constant was taken as zero. Now, as there is a motion, the reluctance and inductance should not be considered as constant. Hence, we can again modify the equation as dW field is equal to is inside the bracket is derivative of ls plus ls derivative of is plus ir derivative of lsr plus lsr derivative of ir plus ir inside the bracket ir derivative of lr plus lr derivative of ir plus is derivative of lrs plus lrs derivative of is now taking this is and ir inside the bracket we can modify this equation as dw field is equal to is square dls plus is ls dis plus is ir dlsr plus is lsr dir plus ir square dlr plus ir lr into dir plus ir is dlrs plus ir lrs t e of is equation number 14 in order to derive the equation for torque we have to consider the mechanical movement hence considering the movement of the rotor dw mechanical can be written as dw mechanical is equal to te into d of theta r equation number 15 now taking derivative of equation number 12 we get dw field is equal to one half derivative of ls is square plus one half derivative of lr ir square plus derivative of lsr is into ir after solving this equation we get dw field is equal to one half bracket ls derivative of is square plus is square derivative of ls plus one half lr derivative of ir square plus ir square derivative of lr plus lsr is derivative of ir plus lsr ir derivative of is plus is ir derivative of lsr further solving this equation we get dw field is equal to one half ls into two into is dis plus one half is square dls plus one half lr into two ir dir plus one half ir square dlr plus lsr is d of ir plus lsr ir d of is plus is ir dlsr again solving this equation we get dw field is equal to is ls d of is plus one half is square dls plus ir lr dir plus i r square by 2 dlr plus lsr is dir plus ls ir dis plus is ir dlsr dw electrical is equal to dw mechanical plus dw field equation number 17 now in this equation 14 this dw field is nothing but dw electrical which we had calculated with reference to the previous value hence we can say that the dw field is nothing but dw electrical so substituting all the values of dw field dw electrical and dw mechanical we get is square dls plus is ls dis plus is ir dlsr plus is lsr dir plus ir square dlr plus ir lr dir plus ir is dlrs plus ir lrs dis is equal to t into d theta r plus is ls dis plus one half 
आय स्क्वेअर डी एल एस प्लस आय आर एल आर डी आय आर प्लस वन हाफ आय आर स्क्वेअर डी एल आर प्लस एल एस आर आय एस डी आय आर प्लस एल एस आय आर डी आय एस प्लस आय एस आय आर डी एल एस आर नाव सम टर्म्स ऑन बोथ द साइड ऑफ इक्वेशन वील गेट कैन्सल्ड विच आर आय एस एल एस डी आय एस ऑन दिस साइड ऑफ इक्वेशन वील गेट कैन्सल्ड विथ आय एस एल एस डी आय एस ऑन दिस साइड ऑफ इक्वेशन आय एस आय आर डी एल एस आर आय एस आय आर डी एल एस आर वील गेट कैन्सल्ड आय आर एल आर डी आय आर आय आर एल आर डी आय आर वील गेट कैन्सल्ड आय एस एल एस आर डी आय आर आय एस एल एस आर डी आय आर वील गेट कैन्सल्ड आय आर एल आर एस डी आय एस एल एस आर आय आर डी आय एस वील गेट कॅन्सल्ड आफ्टर कॅन्सलिंग आउट द टर्म्स रिमेनिंग आर आय एस स्क्वेअर डी एल एस प्लस आय आर स्क्वेअर डी एल आर प्लस आय आर आय एस डी एल आर एस इक्वल टू टी इंटू डी थिटा आर प्लस वन हाफ आय एस स्क्वेअर डी एल एस प्लस वन हाफ आय आर स्क्वेअर डी एल आर नाव टेकिंग दिस टू टर्म्स on that side of equation we get i square d ls minus 1 half i square d ls plus i r square d lr minus 1 half i r square d lr plus i r i square d ls minus 1 half i square d ls plus i r square d lr minus 1 half i r square d lr plus i r i s d l r s is equal to t into d theta r now we can take d theta r on this side of equation so we can get the formula for torque as te is equal to i square d ls minus half i square d ls divided by d theta r plus i r square d lr minus half i r square d lr divided by d theta r plus i r i s d l r s divided by d theta r again solving this equation we get t is equal to 1 half i square d l s by d theta r plus 1 half i r square d l r by d theta r plus i s i r into d l r s d theta r this is the final equation for the torque in the doubly excited magnetic system thank you friends for watching this video Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda